What's up everybody, this is your boy Thirsty Jack and this is a special video. I know everybody's going through this, uh, this issue. I've been through it for myself. And the topic I'm going to talk about is depression. But before I talk about this topic, I'm going to show you this gameplay of the UFC 3. Uh, I did a little tournament. Uh, it's a fight night champion tournament. It's all stand up. So you will see that the rest of the tournament. And also... You can see your first round, the second round, and the semifinal, and the championship. So you will see all that uh, very soon in this channel, the Thirsty Jack channel. So you will see it very, very soon. And also, Best for Business Season 5, I have not forgot about it. I did show a prelude of it. And I might do a little change of the story, but you will see it very soon once I finish uh, tweaking the editing and everything else along the way. So be patient. It will come soon, very soon, so bear with me. So, <clears throat> for this topic, depression. I know everybody who watched this video went through it. Uh, you probably know somebody, your friends or your loved ones who go through it. And I know someone, I know you, someone, your loved ones or someone you know who uh, lost their life through depression. And if they did, you know, my heart uh, go out to them. And you know, it's very, very, it's very tough. Um, once you become depressed, it leads to suicidal thoughts and suicide. Um, you have pl plenty of people went through it. You know, celeb, uh, your relative, your friends, your loved ones. Everybody went through it, and including myself. And this is my first time talking about uh, openly on this on this platform. Um, everybody was talking about. Aaron seen is on J. Pickett Smith show on on Facebook Watch, uh, Red Table Talk. When uh, she bring one of my favorite artists, Kid Cudi, and talk about depression and mental issue. So, I'm well, seeing that, you know, inspired me to do this one. I know everybody, you know, go through it. But for me, it was a long battle. And I've been battling or oh, battle with the depression for for many years. Uh, it's like it's like a switch, like on and off type. But... A year before that, or should I say last year, it was worse. Um, it was it was a financial issue. It was it's all about the money, and I try to help out, do what I can. Plus myself, I try you know get my money together, but I felt like I, I failed. I felt helping out that the money didn't come through, and I do everything as much as I can. I feel like I failed as as a as a son fell you know fell everything and I was I was really depressed and it triggered and my mindset was was a whole different process. It's like it's like that scene from Power. Anybody who watched that show and one scene um the last season when Tommy was oh, about to get killed by the thought about to get killed by the Russian and the first thing I thought was, you know, Holly that was me. I was like, I was ready to go home, you know, go to, you know, the upper room. Uh, <laughs> um, I was ready to end it, but thank God my family stepped in and talked to me and get out of depression. So it was, it was still, even though they talked to me, I take the advice, but still it was, a, it was a big battle. And trust me, it, it, it wasn't easy. It didn't end overnight. It took a long process of it. And I be kept it to myself for a long time. Um, even my friends uh, knew about it a little bit. Um, some of my family members knew a little bit about it, but everybody else, not so much. But I did, you know, went through it. Uh, I, I, I try to find a way to make myself feel happy and not to think about my depressions. Uh, I would try to walk to the mall, try to walk in the park, you know, go to my favorite spot. I do everything in my power, just defeat it. And sometimes it works, and sometimes I relapse, and it happened. And and also another thing, if you knew somebody who going through the issue, going through depression issue, don't tell them. To, don't don't say like don't bring your depression shit over here or you better fix your depression shit because that's not really helping the person now. It really not. It just you just make the shit more worse. You know the best thing you do is be more supportive, be be there to help them out and make sure 
that person, he or she, work themselves. You know, make sure you're not alone. He or she not alone. Just make sure to help that person. And, and that's what I went through. And I think around October, well, fast forward to October 16th, and I went through a little depression episode. I listened to a certain song. I think it was uh, Tanya Taylor, um, You're Gonna Love Me. Dope song. And out of nowhere, I just broke down crying. I just had a mental breakdown. Depression was weighing on me. And I was in the house by myself. And after I broke down, the wave of feeling of depress- depression got off my chest. It felt like I felt brand new. And once, you know, got myself up, you know, pop up the tears and everything else, <clears throat> I feel much better. I wasn't depressed anymore. I wasn't feeling down anymore. I was good. And after that day beyond, I started, you know, talking to my family members. I started feeling good, you know, make sure I tell them I'm okay. And ever since then, I knew that I finally defeat my demon. And I finally found my happiness. And I pre a long not too long ago, I lost my smile. Like like <laughs> like Shawn Michael would say, I lost my smile. That's what I feel like. I feel like I lost my smile. But after the depression was over and that you know that cry, the outlet cry, I felt much better. So after that I started, you know, continuing working on. Even though I finally defeat my demon, I keep on better myself. I keep on doing drawings. Uh, writing, doing YouTube video, playing games, you know, hanging with my friends, mob, everything. And to this day, right now, I still feel better. I got my smile back. I got my loved ones around me, friends, everybody who care about me. And that really helped me out a lot. I still keep doing it. Now, you got other people who, who want to showcase the depression or sometimes, you know, call for help through social media. If you you know go that route, um, don't. Well, I don't know how to put it this way. I guess you know there's different ways to call for help. If that's the way, cool. But don't cry out for for attention. That's that's not a good look. You post one image, and then next you know you go to other social media. You pretty much you asking for for attention. That's not a good look. And people want to you know don't want to help because you feel like you don't want to help yourself. But, but like I said, you know, if you ever go through depressions, um, go talk to your family, go talk to your friends, go talk to your loved ones. Um, it's okay to ask for them help and, or even call the hotline. I know there's plenty of hotlines out there who, who will help you to do that. And that's, that's, that's one, one thing you gotta do. Once you find some help, take that advice, run with it better yourself and you're still struggling through it keep fighting do not let the demon beat you beat the fucking demon you are better you're a strong person you got to fight you gotta keep on fighting until the demon is gone away trust me I've been through it I defeat the demon just like how Isaac Frost knock out chemo slice <laughs> that's the way I did it I knock out the depression I'm happy I'm smiling I'll live my best life. I know you will live in the best life. And once you defeat your depression, keep fighting. Keep fighting your smile. Keep keep and pursue your happiness. One of my favorite song, Kid Cudi. Um, keep doing it. And once you do that, keep better yourself. Cause as long as you as long as you feel much better, nothing can stop you. So I hope this video will help you. I hope this video will 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 guide you to a better better life after depressions. If you're still going through it, ask them help. Uh, talk to your friends, your loved ones. Um, do what you can to fight. Keep doing what you can to find your happiness. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys you know take this advice and run with it. Learn from my story. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment on the video, and we try to get this YouTube channel up and running, 
hit to the bigger platform so more people can join to the Thirsty Nation of this channel, the Thirsty Jack channel, make this shit possible. So until then, I see you guys next time. Bye.